It's actually early January out, and I'm not even wearing a heavy coat. It's 50 degrees outside. It's, it's There's no snow. The sun is actually out for the first time today, so... Not the first time today, the first time this year, actually. We have not had the sun out all year long. So, yeah, this is kind of this is kind of weird weather that we have right here. But you're not here for that. You're here to, be, to hear me talk about my first impressions on Bumblebee, which I finally saw today. I did see Aquaman and Mary Poppins Returns last week. I didn't get to do a first impressions video last week, but I did... I'm going to put up my reviews for those tomorrow on the site, along with the, my thoughts on Bumblebee. And where to begin with Bumblebee, except talking about the other Transformers movies? I like the first one. Second one I thought was kind of bad, but you can blame the writer strike on that. Third one was, eh, it was not, kind of a bit mixed of the problems of the first of the second movie and some of the things that were actually good about the first movie. And Transformers Age of Extinction and The Last Night were both terrible movies that we shall never, ever talk about again. So with Bumblebee, I was scared coming into this one. They were taking something that seemed like it was pretty much dead in the water. They had a director who made one of my favorite movies of this decade so far, Kubo and the Two Strings, moving him from animation to a live-action feature with this. So I was nervous coming into this one. It's and then I heard how good the reviews were coming out of this movie. They were really good reviews coming out for this, so... My interest was peaked a little bit, so I finally saw it today, and the reviews were kind of right. This is actually kind of a fun Transformers movie. This is an actual good Transformers movie. Like, not just summer escapism entertainment, but just a genuine fun movie. Like, I had a ton of fun watching this film. I thought they did a great job of recreating Transform the Transformers universe. The fact that the movie starts off on Cybertron... Which we actually didn't get, to, which we actually got to saw in this movie, which was pretty awesome. I thought that the action scenes were done very well. You didn't have the clunky, over-the-top action that they had, the Michael Bay movies had. These action sequences you could actually see. The characters were actually well, well written. I liked the performances by Haley Steinfeld and John Cena. And I mean, I really enjoyed the film. I'm not going to say it's a classic in any way. It's not going to be one of those movies that I would think is one of the best of the year. Probably would put this in my honorable mentions if I had seen this before I put my best of the year list out. But, yeah, it's a fun movie. It's a really good, fun movie. It shows that there is potential for Transformers to work outside of Michael Bay. And hopefully this could lead to other great movies in the series. Not with Michael Bay under center. Like, I want to see Travis Knight do another Transformers movie. I would like to see him expand on this world that he's created with this new film. Overall, I enjoyed it. It's a ton of fun. If you want to see, finally want to see a good Transformers movie in live action, this is definitely the one to see. I highly recommend checking this one out.